Hi, Corey Swan with the Mark Costello Company. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the door on your sterilizer. First, what are some of the reasons you may need to? Well, if your door is leaking, it's going to be the first reason. And you want to make sure you have tried lubricating your door completely as instructed in our maintenance video. Or you want to make sure that your gasket is not damaged in any way. Once these two factors are established, you're going to want to close the door and see if it's dragging on the ring. Find out if you can get an idea where it's actually out of alignment, if possible. The first thing I usually try to look at is the shaft for the door hinge. Now if you look up under the dodge bearing, on the upper dodge bearing, where it slides in the bearing, if you see bare metal where the shaft has slid down, that is a good indication that your door has dropped. Now to correct this, there are two set screws in the upper bearing and two set screws in the lower bearing. You're going to want to loosen all four of them. Then there is a jam nut like this, or a bolt like this with a jam nut on the bottom side. You're going to want to unloosen that jam nut, snug that bolt up with your fingers, and once the set screws are free, you can slowly raise. I recommend pulling a turn, letting it sit for a few seconds to make sure it doesn't bind and jump on its own, and then pull again, check it, pull again until you see no more bare metal and you're probably back up into position and you can then lock the set screws in the upper bearing, lock the set screws in the lower bearing and loosen the bolt on the bottom and tighten the jam nut up once again because you don't want to be riding on that bolt all the time. And of course if this is were a left-handed door, which this happens to be a right-handed door, the procedure is going to be the same. The only time the procedure changes is when you're making adjustments on the upper and the lower collars. Now, this happens to be a what we consider a right-hand door. That's the direction it's hinged on when you're facing the door. On this door, think of it as the door is a big weight. This is your adjustment. If you need to make any adjustments, the inside set screws are not carrying any weight. They're merely to lock the door in place. The outside set screws are going to make your adjustment. The weight's pulling down, you make a turn, it's going to move accordingly. Now when you go to the bottom, it's pretty much the same except reverse. You're now pushing against the bottom collar. Your outside set screws will lock the, the door into place, but your inside ones, they're of course with the weight, they're going to move the door inside out. Now if this were a right hand door, of course it would be reversed, but when you're standing on that side, the outside upper, they're always the one to make the adjustment. The inside bottom, they're always the one to make the adjustment no matter which side you're standing on. So once you get your doors adjusted, I usually, if your door has slipped, you try your adjustment, go ahead and fire up your sterilizer with steam, check to make sure you're leaking. If that's fine, you're done. If not, proceed to adjusting the upper and lower collars. And if you need any help while doing these adjustments, please call the Marcostello Company to talk to a technician for any assistance. Thank you.